this video, I'm going to walk through how to give someone else permission to edit the back end of your site. So if you want to let someone in so they could see this back end and make adjustments, click in and make edits, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we are currently on a demo website. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is in this main navigation here, this main menu, click on settings. And then from there, the word they use here is permissions. So once you click on permissions, this is where you could start to give people access. So you'll click on invite contributor, you'll give them a name, and then you'll drop the email in place. So you could put the last name or just the first name, it does not matter. Here are the actual settings. You can see here, there are a lot of different options. If it is someone who will be editing, designing your website, I recommend admin access. Content editor doesn't give them full access to all the settings and different parts of the website where they may need control. So admin access. The beauty of admin access is if you check it, it checks everything else off for you. So it's really easy in that way. In most cases, I'm going to recommend admin access. Unless the only thing they're doing is billing, then you could give them billing access. Or the only thing they're doing is specifically editing a bit of content on a page, then sure. But for the most part, if you give a designer or someone else on your team access, so you don't have to go back and forth and grant them different levels of access. You just grant them admin access. Obviously, use your own discretion on this but it's a simple way to get someone access to the back end of your site. What will happen now when you hit invite is it'll send an email to them to this email here and it'll also provide a link. So let me show you that now. So I'm going to click invite. Two things just happened. An email just went out and at the same time, you now have this invitation link. So you could actually copy this link and say it's a client. You may want to drop it in an email to them and say, hey, click on this link to grant access to the site. Obviously, they're going to get the email as well, but it gives you another layer of communication with the client. In the worst case, if they lose that email, you know that you could just send them this link instead. A cool feature with this newer setup here to comment on it a little bit is you see all the options here. So if I uncheck admin and then I decide to change my mind, you could do that anytime you could change it and then hit save and it's all updated. So it's really easy to control in that way. And then if you do need to change access or just cancel the invite, you can do that. Once they accept the invite, if you need to give them ownership, I'm going to do another video on this, but if you need to give them ownership, they need to accept the invite first before you send ownership to them. So once they accept, then you could go back in to the main section here and then do transfer ownership. And then it'll ask you, who do you want to give ownership to? And then you could choose whoever that is. So that is the end of the video, but there are two things I do want to bring up. If you are blogging and let's say you have a guest post and you want to create an author profile for that person or that company, whatever it may be, but you don't need to necessarily give them access because this is actually how you create profiles for the blog in here in this permission section. Well, you could come in here, click add basic author, add an image, add a name, add a profile. And then when you're blogging, you could assign it the author or the writer to be this guest post. So this way you don't give them actual access to the site, but you could add an author to your site. And finally, this contributor let non-admins purchase assets. You could see here for content editors and store managers, you could allow them the ability to purchase things like email campaigns or domains or Gmail suites or Google workspaces, whatever they're called now, things like that. You could allow them to purchase it with the card on file if you have this checked. And that is how you invite a contributor to the back end of your website. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from this video. And if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish new videos every single week, Friday at 1 p.m. We post a new video, if not multiple videos throughout the week. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.